Rival, I wanted to check in with you because I have a new episode coming and it's over an hour long and I'm not done editing it. But anyway, for those of you who don't know, yesterday was Passover. Um, it began at sundown and then it goes throughout sundown today as the first day of Passover. So we're still in day one of Passover of 2022. And I want to kind of gear everybody up for what the next episode is going to be about because of Passover and we know that Jesus is our Passover lamb. But, you know, people say that hindsight is 2020, right? For those of you who don't understand what that means. So the things in the past are clear to be seen. Like we understand the things that happened in the past and it's easy to look back on the past and be like, of course these things were going to happen. Of course, like I can't believe somebody like a Thomas would doubt Jesus and God's plan. It's easy to judge these people negatively when we have all of scripture to fall back on and be like, oh, well, we knew it was going to work out because we already read the rest of the book, right? But these people, they didn't have scripture like neatly bound up, conveniently available for them to read and be like, yes, I understand that Jesus will definitely rise from the dead tomorrow and then he's going to appear to everybody. They didn't have that. So today as still day one of Passover, this would have been the time that Jesus was in the tomb. And I want you to think about, this is your homework, I want you to think about what it would have been like for the apostles and the followers of Jesus on the day that Jesus was in the tomb. I want you to empathize and put yourself in their shoes. What would it have been like to have given up everything to follow Jesus? Can some of you name some of the occupations of the disciples? What kind of jobs did they have before they followed Jesus? What kind of things did they do when Jesus said, come, follow me? What kind of things did they leave behind? What kind of things do they deal with as they follow Jesus? Because we know that Jesus says that a prophet is without honor. Where? Amongst his own people, in his own hometown, and against members of his own family, right? So these people dealt with their family not agreeing with their life choices to follow Jesus. Not only are their family who... Many of the disciples were devout Jews. Let's remember that. Um, they were devout Jews. So their family would be like, why are you following Jesus? And then everywhere they go, what's happening? Pharisees, Sadducees, the scribes, always popping up somewhere. Jesus. I thought you said that there's only one king. Who should we pay taxes to? Hey, Jesus, is it lawful for you to heal on this? Always popping up to, to uh, harass Jesus and their followers. So I want you to put yourself in their shoes. This is the day that Jesus was in the tomb. How would they have felt? Because they weren't guaranteed to know that Jesus would 1,000% rise from the dead the next day and that they would see him again. So I want to know, how would you have felt if you were in their shoes? You've given up everything to follow Jesus. Your business, your livelihood, your social standing. You're probably fighting with your family. You might have left behind a spouse that doesn't agree with you following Jesus. And now you've seen Jesus undergo an illegal trial at night. You've seen Jesus crucified. You've seen Jesus put in a tomb. And now not only are Mary, Joanna, the mother of James, they're all saying that Jesus isn't there. Peter, he goes to see what's going on. 
He only sees the rags and he doesn't know what's going on. So how would you feel? Because let's remember, the disciples, if you look at the book of John, I believe it's chapter 20, they're locked in a room for fear of the Jews, okay? So how would you feel at this point? What would be your frame of mind going in on not only the day that Jesus was in the tomb, but the day that Jesus is missing from the tomb? You haven't seen anything. You don't know what's going on. So where would your faith be at this point? Would you be confused? Would you feel dejected? Would you feel afraid? Would you feel frustrated? Would you feel like you were made a fool of? And if you felt that way, does that make you a bad Christian? Does that make you an unbeliever? Does that mean that you just weren't close enough to God? Because these are people who literally walked with Jesus in the flesh. So if you think that they would feel these type of ways... And these are the people closest to the living, breathing Jesus Christ. When you have those feelings of doubt, when you have confusion, when you have fear, when you have um, doubts over God's plan, when you can't see everything make sense in the natural, does that automatically make you a bad Christian? That's what I want to know. That's the homework. I want you to meditate on that. Think about how the people closest to Jesus felt while he was in the tomb after all of the things that they experienced without the benefit of scripture to know that he was going to 100% rise from the dead and walk around and meet them again Without that benefit, how would they feel? And if they feel those way, and you know this is how you would feel in that situation, does that make them bad believers? I want you to think about that. Because I want to address a common mis misconception that Christians have when it comes to dealing with negative feelings, such as being upset with God, being confused by His plan, being um, upset or dejected or angry. I, that's what I want you to think about. There's so many people that have this common misconception that if you have these feelings that you're a bad Christian, and that's what I want to address in our next video. So I've already filmed it, just have to edit it. It's way too long for it to go up today. But I want you guys to put yourself in their shoes. How would you feel? And does that mean that they weren't righteous, holy, or good enough believers to even entertain those thoughts. So put your comments down below with what you feel like they would have felt and if that would have uh, made them a quote-unquote bad believer. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you will like, subscribe, and share. Have a wonderful Passover week. Love you guys lots. Bye.